Good morning and welcome to our Easter sunrise service. I know it's a bit different this year, but even though we're distant from one another, I'm imagining all of you here with me and that brings joy and warmth to my heart. And the warmth is a good part because it is cold out here this morning. But my heart is warm for love for you and for our risen Savior Jesus. Let, us call, let me call us into this time of worship. Shadows and worries follow us, yet something has changed. Darkness and grief surround us, but something is bright and new. Denials and betrayals torment our memories, but forgiveness is real. Confusion and doubt cloud the future and perplex the present, but someone is on the road with us. Friends, let us proclaim the good news together this morning. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Would you bow your head with me and let us pray. O oh, gracious and loving God, we, we give you thanks for every new day. We give you thanks for the blessing of life and to be able to wake up and witness the sun rise. We give you thanks for the gift of your Son, Jesus, and for the price He paid. As we have been in the midst of Holy Week, we have walked with Him as He has been betrayed, as He's been arrested and beaten and crucified. Lord, it has been some dark times, and yet here we are being reminded by your beautiful creation that there is hope. Bless this time of worship. Bless all who share in it. We ask this in Christ's holy name. Amen. This morning I'd like to share with you a Easter meditation that I wrote entitled, The Year Easter Was Cancelled. It had been a good day. It was good to go to Sunday worship with the grandparents the lunch table was loaded with the traditional favorites. The afternoon nap was just long enough. It was a full but nice day, and now it was time for bed. Tell me the story again, please, Daddy. Tell me about the year when everyone thought Easter was canceled. Arthur looked at his daughter Elizabeth with a mixture of deep love, but also a tinge of sadness in his heart. Every time the year was brought up, it also came attached with some of his most painful memories. Elizabeth had just started walking on her two little chubby legs when the pandemic hit. Obviously, she had no idea how drastically this virus would change her life. Interrupting Arthur's thoughts were yet another plea. Please, Daddy, please tell me the story. I promise if you'll tell it to me, I'll never ask you to do it again. If there was one thing Arthur was incapable of, it was saying no to his daughter. So he sat down on the side of her bed, picked Belle up, her favorite stuffed animal, from the floor, and tucked both of them in. And he began... Once upon a time, there was a mommy and a daddy who had a beautiful baby girl. She brought so much joy into their life, and they were very happy to be a family. The mommy and daddy used to love playing with their precious girl. Mommy was the best at reading stories and snuggling, and daddy could make his baby girl laugh more than anyone. She loved it when he made funny fishy faces with his lips and when he tickled the bottom of her feet with his beard. Life together was good. It was very, very good. One day, Mommy and Daddy started to become a little worried for their family. Someone who lived far, far away from their home became sick. This person didn't know they were sick, but they were. And because they didn't know they were sick, others around them became sick as well. People who were sick and didn't know it still went to work and they played with others. And some even got on an airplane and flew to places far, far away. All too quickly, the sickness, or the nasty virus as they called it, started to make lots of people sick. 
In fact, it made people so sick that sometimes their bodies couldn't heal and they died. And this made families very sad. Well, the little girl's mommy and daddy did everything they could to protect their family. When everyone was asked to wash their hands, they washed their hands in the hands of their precious girl as well. When everyone was asked to keep their distance from each other, mommy and daddy were very careful to do so. When everyone was asked to stay at home, they stayed at home. They did everything they knew to avoid bringing that virus into their home. As scary as all this was, there were some good things about this time. Mommy and Daddy had more time to spend with each other and with their baby girl. Each night, Daddy would make a special dinner and Mommy would read a special book. And then they would FaceTime with the baby girl's grandparents. Each time her grandparents would see her, they would say the same thing. They would say how beautiful she was and that she was growing like a weed. They would end their time by blowing kisses to each other. And all over the world, families were learning new ways to be families while staying at home. So day after day, week after week, this was life. Without even realizing it, Arthur let out a deep sigh. Elizabeth, who had been listening, stopped playing with Belle and looked at her daddy. It's okay. I want to hear the rest of the story. Well, Arthur smiled at his baby girl and couldn't help but notice something from another familiar face looking back at him. It was the eyes, he thought to himself. So he took a deep breath and continued. It was right before Easter when the mommy of the little girl became sick. Her parents had done everything they could to avoid the virus coming into their home, but somehow it had made its way into their life anyway. The mommy had to stay in her room, and the daddy and the little girl had to stay in theirs. The little girl was sad because mommy wouldn't read her books at night. She didn't understand why they didn't have their special snuggle time. The mommy very much missed doing these things with her precious girl. The day came that Mommy had to go to the hospital. She felt really bad and Daddy felt really scared. And each night, Daddy and his daughter would pray for Mommy to get better and to come home. She never did. The Mommy did everything she, did, she could do to come home, but she wasn't able to and this made everyone very sad. All of Mommy's family cried when they had to say goodbye. For weeks, the news had been reporting that this would be the year Easter would be canceled. There would be no Easter egg hunts. No stores would be opened to buy pretty Easter dresses with matching bows. The churches were even closed, so you couldn't even bring flowers and decorate the cross. Families who lived apart, they couldn't even eat Easter dinner together. However, on Easter morning, the daddy and his baby girl made an amazing discovery. After eating breakfast and playing outside, they came inside to rest. And the little girl wanted daddy to read a book. The daddy didn't know which book to read, so he just grabbed the closest one he could see. It just happened to be a children's book entitled, The Story of Easter. Opening the cover, he immediately saw the handwriting and tears started flowing down his cheeks. On the inside of the cover, the little girl's mommy had written a note. Dear precious one, I love you. Daddy loves you. And God loves you too. I'm so sorry I'm not able to read you stories. Daddy will do that for me. It's okay to feel sad. We all do. Please know that I am never far away. I'm in your heart and in the breeze and in the light shining down from above. I am your mommy forever. Happy Easter. Well, the daddy first thought to himself, there's nothing happy about this Easter at all, but he read the book anyway. He read to his daughter the story about Jesus and how much love he had for everyone. He read about how sad Jesus' friends were when he died and had to say goodbye. 
He read about how surprised they were to find out that Jesus was no longer in the tomb and alive. And he read about the joy that all of them felt when they were able to see each other again. And that was when Daddy remembered something very important. Easter reminds us that if Jesus lives, then we can live too. And if Jesus was raised from the death, then God can do the same for us. And if Jesus was reunited with those He loved, then one day we can see our loved ones too. And when Daddy remembered this, he knew their family was going to be okay. The daddy laid the book down and gave his baby girl the biggest bear hug ever. Easter wasn't canceled. It couldn't be canceled. Though his baby girl was still too young to understand, one day she would. One day she would know that her family would be together again, all because of the love of Jesus. And nothing could take that away. The end. Well, Arthur sat for a moment in the silence, and Elizabeth quietly filled it. I miss Mommy. I do too. Thanks for telling me the story again. Okay, sweetie, it's time for lights out. Dad, happy Easter. Happy Easter indeed, precious one. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we find ourselves in strange and uncertain times. And some of us are having to say goodbye, and that is so hard to do even in the best of times. And we're reminded this morning that there is hope in this world. And there's beauty, and there's peace, and there's love. And that makes all the difference. So this morning, remind us, wherever we are, whatever we're going through, that we are not alone. That you are with us. The risen Lord is with us. And we can be at peace. For it's in His holy name we pray. Amen. So this morning I invite you to take a moment and enjoy the sun as it begins to rise. Drink in the colors. The blues, the oranges, and everything else in between. We had a few noisy friends during our time together, didn't we? But all of it is creation just shouting and rejoicing that it's a new day. And even though we're not together, we are together. Happy Easter, everyone.